Welcome to your Beaufort County News Headlines. I'm Matt Golden and here are today's top stories. One of the largest employers and investors in Hampton County is about to get even bigger. Le Crusette, a global cookware, bakeware, and kitchen tools brand, recently announced it is expanding its operations in Hampton County. The company's $30 million investment will create 30 new jobs. On November 7th, Le Crusette announced the groundbreaking of its new 300,000 square foot distribution facility in Hampton County, a significant milestone in the company's ongoing growth and dedication to the Lowcountry community, stated a company news release. The new early branch facility marks Le Crusette's fourth expansion in the area. Since establishing its presence in South Carolina in 1977, Le Crusette has been a cornerstone of local employment and economic development, providing hundreds of jobs to residents. This new facility is projected to create an additional 30 jobs, further solidifying Le Crusette's commitment to fostering economic opportunities in the region, stated the release. Beaver nuggets, brisket, and a host of other souvenirs and snacks are tentatively scheduled to be arriving in Hardyville in about four years as Bucky's plans to locate a store in the city. The Hardyville City Council during its November 7th regular meeting approved the first reading of an ordinance to approve the planned development district, the initial master plan in the development, and a development agreement which will bring Bucky's to the city. Second reading of all three ordinances will be held on November 21st, the city of Hardyville Mayor Harry Williams said. Even though Bucky's representatives are working closely with the city and the development processes, the project is only in the beginning stages of development and its progression will coincide with South Carolina Department of Transportation's I-95 widening and Exit 8 redevelopment project, a city spokesperson said. The current schedule for the SCDOT projects to be completed would be in 2028, the projected timeline, which would also be the projected year for the ribbon cutting for Bucky's, Williams said during the November 7th Hardyville City Council meeting. Bucky's will be located adjacent to I-95 at exit 8, intersection with US Highway 17, city officials said. The Hardyville location is scheduled to include Bucky's signature offerings, including a large selection of regionally themed merchandise and gifts. The annual Beaufort County Veterans Day Parade kicked off Monday morning. It brought out groups like the Paris Island Marine Band, Beaufort County High School's Air Force JROTC, and many locals who got a chance to show their support for those who serve. There's so many different struggles going on in the world today and to be able to push everything aside and still support the branches of the military, the people that have served and are serving, it's just very powerful, said Jemira Knox, whose husband currently serves in the military. With dozens of people lined up on the streets of Beaufort to catch a glimpse of the parade and honor veterans, Knox's son said even though his father is far away, he knows it's important. I know that my dad is out there protecting our country and as long as I know he's doing that, I'm okay with it and him being celebrated is just cool, Montrell Knox, whose dad is in the military, said. For more information on any of these stories, please visit the sources on the screen, and as always, you can head to BeaufortCountySC.gov, where you can find press releases straight from Beaufort County. Thanks for tuning in to your Beaufort County News Headlines. Have a great day, Beaufort County. Weekends are for sports. BCTV has replays of your favorite Beaufort County games from high school, college, and more. Saturday and Sunday from noon to 6 p.m. Relive all the exciting moments, great endings, and wild celebrations that make you love sports. Watch Beaufort Sports Weekend replays on Saturday and Sunday from noon to 6 p.m. on Beaufort County TV. BCTV. Live. Work. Play.